Hey everybody, this is Scott Gustafson with Vital MX. We're here today at Chaparral Motorsports. Uh, we're here to do a tech tip for you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna install uh, Recluse Torque Drive Clutch Pack. Now what this is, this replaces your uh, clutch plates in your bike and replaces the springs. What Recluse does that's so unique is they, uh, instead of having, let's say, eight friction plates and seven steel plates, what Recluse does is they'll go 12 friction plates and 11 steel plates. And what that does is it gives you more surface area for the clutch to grab. And in doing so, you get a very precise clutch feeling. Uh, this is a great upgrade for any modern bike. Uh, you'll see an immediate improvement, especially too if you have a modified engine, you'll put more power to the ground with something like this. The tools you're gonna need before you start are an eight and 10 millimeter, either a T-handle or a socket. You're also gonna need a pick and you should have some type of screwdriver. Okay, you're gonna start out with a clean bike and what you're gonna wanna do First is lay the bike over. You can put the handlebar on your stand. Next thing you'll do is you're gonna release pressure on the rear brake by pushing down on the caliper back here. Then go ahead, depress the brake pedal and put a screwdriver or something suitable in here to keep the brake pedal out of the way. This gives you access to all the clutch bolts here. With the brake pedal out of the way, you're gonna remove all of these eight millimeter clutch bolts here to remove the clutch cover. You'll notice that some are different sizes. It's pretty obvious where they go, but you may wanna keep track of that. Go ahead and take your clutch cover off. Now, the Recluse, uh, uh, they want you to save this clutch gasket. You can buy a new one if it's in bad condition or Try and save it the best you can. Go ahead and remove that. I'm gonna remove these 10 millimeter bolts here so I can get to the clutch. You can do this in a crisscross fashion so you don't warp or bend anything. And you can put these aside. Next, you can go ahead and remove the clutch plates and the pressure plate itself. Uh, in this particular case, I'll take the pressure plate off. I'll make sure that uh, a lot of times your thrust washer can stick to this, so make sure you have it. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the clutch plates and put them aside. You might have one or two that stick down at the bottom, you can get those out with a pick. Now the Suzuki, like many other modern bikes, has a judder spring in here. What this spring does is it actually dampens the clutch and uh, kind of takes some of the force of the clutch. In this particular case, we're not gonna be using a judder spring anymore, so we need to make sure we remove that. You can do that with a pick. So what you have here is you have a beveled uh, spacer here and then you have a flat one that is a little difficult to get out so you may just take a magnet and pull that out. Okay prior to installation of the friction plates here you're going to want to soak them in uh, the engine oil that you use in your bike. In this particular case I use Motorex uh, Formula 10W40 uh, oil in this bike. So I'm using the same engine oil I always use in this bike. So just go ahead and put your plates in a plastic bag like this. Pour a couple ounces of oil in there. Go ahead and seal it up and just let the oil work into the plates a little bit and just let it sit there so that it permeates into the fibers. Okay, included in the Recluse kit are these basket sleeves. They're made out of steel. Uh, and what they do is they reinforce the clutch basket. Now you're gonna wanna take a good look at your clutch basket, make sure it's not notched or worn out. This particular one is still in very good shape. You can also uh, check the condition of the dampers in your clutch basket. So just go ahead and grab it, move it back and forth. And if you don't have a lot of excess play, you don't have to worry about this clutch basket. Um, so now we're gonna install these basket sleeves. And what you're gonna do 
is they have a tang on one side. You can see they're open here, so you can drop the clutch plate in there. And you're just gonna put those on the inside of the clutch basket opening here. And like I say, what this does is it reinforces this. It just makes it so in the future, this basket won't wear. So I've separated the thick steel plates from the thinner steel plates, and I have my fibers here. I'm just using my clutch cover to hold them. Um, so I'm gonna start by putting a fiber plate in. And my first four steel plates are gonna be the thicker ones. So I'll alternate these. Thick steel. Now Recluse, unlike many other clutch manufacturers, makes their steel plates flat on both sides so there's no direction to them. Again, a thick plate. So your first four steel plates are thick. Now you're gonna start alternating all of your thin plates until you're finished. Okay, so now your final plate is gonna be a friction. Go ahead and install that. Okay, you've got your thrust washer in here. Uh, finally put your pressure plate on. Make sure it's in its slot. And now you're gonna install the recluse springs with your stock clutch bolts. Install your five recluse clutch springs. Your five stock clutch bolts. Get these started by hand. You never wanna use a power tool on this. It's a really easy way to strip it. We're gonna tighten up these 10 millimeter bolts right here. And you should tighten these up in a crisscross fashion. Once you've got everything tightened up, uh, you can torque it to 89 inch pounds. Now we're gonna add a recluse clutch cover to our bike. Um, a lot of people think that these clutch covers are, you know, just fluff, that they don't do anything, but this billet clutch cover is much stronger than stock. Really good thing to have, much stronger than the stock cast, um, sometimes magnesium covers in this case. So this is a good upgrade. So before I put that on, I cleaned off my gasket and I'm going to install the gasket here. Now we'll install the clutch cover. Take our two longer bolts. Okay, now we're gonna tighten these eight millimeter bolts down. Again, we can do it in a crisscross fashion. You're gonna install the stock drain filler cap. Okay, now you've finished everything down here. Uh, go ahead, release your brake, take the screwdriver out, pump the brake a couple times so you don't get any surprises on your first ride back. Your final step is gonna to be to adjust the clutch at the lever. So you're gonna to wanna to have the same clutch pull you would as a stock bike. Um, it's usually at the very end of the lever. It's about 10 to 20 millimeters right here. So you, just by turning your adjuster in or out, you'll get that perfect clutch adjustment. Okay, we've adjusted the clutch at the lever. The one thing you'll really notice about these uh, torque pack kits is that they just have a butter smooth feel to them. The fact that they have more clutch surface to grab, you're gonna get more power to the ground. So this is a really good upgrade for your bike. If you're thinking about uh, getting a new clutch, you might wanna consider one of these. It's a good uh, package all the way around. So once again, um, thank you from Vital MX and Chaparral Motorsports. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below and we'll try to answer as many as we can. And if you like seeing these tech tip videos and wanna see more, uh, again, let us know and uh, we'll do more in the future. Thanks a lot from Vital MX and Chaparral Motorsports.